it does it. Got all of this package on there. How's that in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, you like this? Backup camera or No, not the backup camera. The seat. Yes. Oh yeah, seat warmer and a vent, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that. So air conditioned seat, and I think it's got hand warmers too. Yes, I think it does. Ooh, look at that. Fancy, fancy. Look at that. Why does it oh. Very nice. So yours, does your door only open that far? No, it opens farther. Okay. Just on a hill. All right, let's turn this key over here. Two point nine hours. Somebody's jamming in here. Two point nine hours. Screens on the back. It's nice. It has sweeps outside. Headlights up at the top. It's all ready to go. Start her up. Yeah, got a signal. That's good. There it is, brand new Cat D1. So new Cat D1 dozer, um, really glad to get this machine. This will be dozer number three for me. I also have larger dozers, I have a D6N, and, um, but this is nice. Having a uh, brand new small dozer, once again, is, is really nice. So um, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to putting it on some smaller projects. Um, we'll use it on this project we're on right now in the woods and uh, other places on this property and it should be a lot of fun cat really packs in a lot of fun uh, technology into this machine um, and uh, it's really nice to have these mosquitoes are going crazy around me anyway this would be really nice you know I shoot videos and pictures of jobs and equipment and all of that and this is exciting this is really nice to have uh, again uh, it's my third dozer so it's not my first rodeo but uh, this is a really nice dozer uh, no matter what um, it's really nice it's a small dozer but I tell you what I, I did I got this dozer because um, you know I like this d1 idea because you know I could have gotten a d3 or two and uh, the price point of this was was nice, but you know, I don't need that much dozer. I have a D6N, I know how to run a dozer and I can run the fire out of a D3 or the old D5. So I don't need the extra four inches of track width or the extra four inches of blade width to make a job work out. And I know how to use whatever torque this machine has to get through a job. So uh, for me, it's not a need to have a, a D3. The D1 is the same size machine same engine different horsepower rating somehow or another i don't know how cat does that but um 
um, it's the same dozer. So, uh, and if you know what you're doing with the dozer, you're perfectly fine with that. So, um, that's, the, you know, that's kind of the thing that, uh, you know, reading the spec. So I'll be, it'll be interesting to use it and see how it performs, but I'm not even a bit worried. Like I said, if you know how to run a dozer, you are fine. You don't, you know, there's not going to be a big difference between the one or the two or the three. Um, I can make it happen with all that. Size for me matters in the sense of I need big machines to do big stuff and I need small machines to get in small areas. A big machine in a small area is useless, but a small machine, you can always do more work with a small machine to make it work in a bigger area. So that's my uh, theory on machinery. So the times that I need to get a dozer into a smaller area that a bigger dozer won't fit, what do you do? You rent something smaller if you don't have it. Well, that's a downside there. So I'd rather own that and then get caught where I can't rent it. Same thing with skid steers and excavators. You get into a space where it's too small for the machinery you have, well, then that's a problem because now you're renting. Again, you can always take a smaller machine and do bigger work, but you can't take a bigger machine and do smaller work uh, if it won't fit. So that's my theory behind working and it's proven itself over time. That's what I do all the time. So anyway, going back to this clearing project we're on right here. Uh, I've got a 310, 239, 299, 306 out here so far. This is a D1. Doing a lot of clearing out here. We're not even halfway through. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. We'll keep on keeping on. It's nice to smell the new coming off that machine. Okay, let's go... Um, Let's go run it for a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go over here to the machines real quick. We'll run that later.